I'm looking for a really high quality but affordable shotgun mic, so I picked up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Just picked this up. Comica, it's a shotgun mic. I've used a lot of Comica stuff in the past because it's been really good and it's been at a price point that's much more affordable than some of the big brands. And to be honest, I've gotten some of the big brands before and they haven't worked. And so I am back to a brand that I know and trust. And this one is the VM20, which seems to kind of be the Cadillac of their shotgun mics. And I've been looking for a really good shotgun mic that I can use outside because a lot of times I'm further away from the camera and I need that microphone to do more work to pick up reasonable audio. So I thought we would test this out inside with extraneous noise as well as outside with wind noise and all the things that come with being outdoors. So it does come in this box right here. And one of the things that I like about this is it just looks the business. That's always important in the world of appearances, right? So it says Comica right there. We get this nylon hard case. It's actually super nice. Kind of reminds me like of a little drone, little loop right there. So you can take this sucker with you without worrying about getting it busted up. We do have a furry windsock up here, which is actually going to be really important for blocking out wind noise outside, which I almost always get. Even on the calmest days, I feel like there's always wind and I come back and I look at the video and it's got that. We also get some of the cables that we will need. We also get a USB-C cable right here to charge up the microphone. We get the instruction booklet, which I will peruse right there. And that all comes in this little mesh pocket up on the top. So that's pretty nice. Then down on the bottom, we get a little foam sock, which especially if you're using this inside and if you're gonna be close to it, it's going to prevent that popping. Pop, pop, pop. So it says Comica right on the side there. And then we also have the little mount, which actually seems like a lot more robust than a lot of the shotgun mounts. A lot of them just only have a single piece like this, but this will keep it in line. And this bottom portion here is aluminum. It's an alloy, so that's pretty nice. You can see it'll mount in a shoe right there, but then you get these two isolation mounts and it'll slide right in there. Then we get the microphone itself, which is actually longer than I thought. It's seven or eight inches long. It's black, it's really nice. I mean, it's got a really super high quality microphone look, which to be really honest, all the Comicas before it have really impressed me in just their build quality. You can see we have some slots here on both sides, slots in the front as you are talking into it and you can aim it. Down here, we have more controls than I am normally used to on a shotgun mic. So kind of the basic things is the USB-C port right there to charge the sucker up. And then we have the three and a half millimeter output right there. But then right on the spline here, we have the low cut filter button as well as the indicator. It's a 75 and 150 right there. We have the power button, a little LED indicator above that. And then we have this little window right here, which will be your battery indicator. So you'll know how much charge you have. And then down here, as you can see, we have a little twist knob. It goes from zero all the way to 10. And there's a little red arrow right there. So this is your gain, which is super, super nice. Like I said, if I am sitting pretty close to the camera, like I am today, then you don't need as much gain. I could probably put this down to four, five, three right? But as soon as I go outside and as soon as I'm standing a few paces away, 10, 15, 20 feet, I'm probably going to want to turn that gain all the way up. And so I think this is going to make a big difference for me, especially when I'm filming outside. And then we have the Comica logo on that side right there. So to set the sucker up, you're just going to slide it into your little carriage like this. I am going to go ahead and get this sucker charged up. And then we will try it not only on this camera, but we will try it outdoors as well. All right, so this is the first test. I'm speaking in a normal voice. I'm about two feet away from my camera. I have nothing plugged into it. I'm just using the stock microphone on the camera. If I'm really quiet, you might be able to hear the air ducts blowing and the fan blowing and the snow melting off of my roof onto the pavement. Can you hear any of that? It's a lot of extraneous noise. But now if I go ahead and plug in the Comica mic, let's see if that makes a difference. All right, I've gone ahead and plugged in the Comica shotgun microphone. Same position on everything. I just sat back down and now the microphone is plugged in and facing me. Now I will say I don't have any of the covers on it quite yet because I'm indoors and I don't know that I'm worried about the pop filter or the air circulating around it. However, I will say I'm really curious about the gain on this little bad boy. So because I'm pretty close, I have the gain set to three. That might actually be a little high or a little low. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to turn the gain down a little bit more. So this is a gain down to one on it. And now I'm gonna just try to turn it up to about five 
or six right there. So, all right, so that's now on six. So because I'm pretty close to it, I just wanted to test out what the gain setting would do from a standpoint of if you're using this indoors. So you be the judge of the audio quality compared to not using an external microphone at all. But indoors isn't always the extreme test. Going outside where we can't control any of those variables is really the big test. So let's take it outdoors and see how it does. All right, people, I am only about five feet away from my camera right now, and I'm outside. It's not particularly windy. It's pretty bright, though. Spring is coming. But what I wanted to show you is that the built-in microphone to the camera is probably pretty good. But from four or five feet away, it's probably going to suffice. Now, the problem is if I need to get a wider shot and I start moving backwards and I continue to talk in my normal voice, you know, now I'm probably about 15 feet away, and if I keep going back, you lose a lot of that audio quality and it gets drowned out and washed in with the rest of the things. So this isn't probably the worst audio quality. I don't have a lot of competing sounds out here, but from where I'm standing right on this mark right here, I want to now compare it to the audio quality that you would get with this Comica microphone. So I went ahead and plugged in the Comica microphone and interestingly, the wind now has picked up a little bit. So I'm definitely getting a little bit more wind presence than I was when I recorded the audio without the microphone just a few seconds ago. Now I am backed up right here to this mark, which is about 15 feet away from the camera. So this was my first test. I'm still speaking in that normal voice. I do have the gain turned all the way up on the Comica microphone, but I will also say that I have both the foam and the furry wind socks on the microphone itself. So I've got those to try to help block out any of the competing noise. Now, I'm gonna back up to my second mark right here, which is about 30 feet away from the camera. Again, the standard voice here, but what I'm hoping is that you will be able to tell a difference when filming outside, no lavalier microphone or anything like that, just using the shotgun microphone, that this is a better audio experience for the viewer than it is with the built-in because, one, because hopefully you can hear me better, but two, because we're now isolating out all those extra noises. You know, the sound of the car that's driving by me right now, the sound of the wind that's passing over me and the camera. And so if you want to film something that's important to you, whether it's just holding up the camera and filming things with your family, or you want to set up your own little cheap studio, I think you can do it. And I'll let you be the judge of whether you think this microphone makes a dramatic improvement. For me, I have found that the Comic products are really good bang for the buck. They're really good value. You, they work well and they are certainly affordable. So if you want to pick up this Comica shotgun mic, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.